ba ba da ba ba. Wee. Why, hello everybody out there on YouTube. It's your boy Maxwell coming to you with another video review. And in today's video, we'll be the first part of a two-part video video showcasing the Power of the Primes Leader Class Rodimus Unicronus. And in part one, we are going to be taking a look at none other than Nemesis Hot Rod. So here we are, and adjusting him here. There he is. And first and foremost, we would usually take a look at his packaging, but I don't happen to have his packaging. But I do still have his collector's card. So you get the sense of that uh, lovely um, artwork that was showcased on the box. So yeah, Rodimus Unicronus. And on, on this side of the box, he is powered by Rodimus Prima Uchronus. Makes the connection Prima has to the Matrix to track its wielder. So, ooh, that's, that's pretty cool, actually. So, hooray for the card. So, we'll be reviewing that card again when we get back it, when we get into doing Rodimus Unicronus in the second, in the second video. But here we have Nemesis Hot Rod. And here we have him in his vehicle mode. And what a lovely, lovely looking vehicle mode this is. Um, I do not have the Rodimus Prime release of this. So I do not have the Hot Rod for this it, to compare it with. However, I don't care. I just wanted Rodimus Unicronus. And he is lovely. Uh, let's get in closer so we can take a look at some of the detailing. Uh, his fin has some nice molded in detailing. A little bit other bits here and there. Nice red for the uh, section for the driver. And very cool Decepticon styled hot rod. Like in uh, flames for the front of his vehicle. Very cool. Very nice. Very sleek too. So yeah, uh, here's a top section here's the bottom it's <laughs> you can almost see how this is exactly gonna work so but yeah uh yeah um there you got that uh, he's got uh, four rolling wheels so he can roll fairly well as uh, cars should roll you can go do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de -do. you can do all kinds of evil duty -do doos if you want them to and just for the sake of one quick size comparison in vehicle mode here he is next to his, the Titan's Return Hot Rod. The only hot rod I have in my collection at this point. So you can get a sense of scale exam wise. Vehicle mode wise, he's, he's about the same size as a deluxe-ish class, sort of. So, yeah. There you got that. Um, he does come with a couple, he comes with several different accessories and we'll really get into them when we do the big, when we do the big guy, but he does come with two guns. Um, unfortunately in the base mode of just Nemesis Hot Rod, he does not have anywhere for storage on him. So unfortunately we're just going to have to take the guns and put them off to the side and they will have to wait for a little while. But he can wield them in robot mode, which is always a good thing. Speaking of robot mode, let's get into his transformation, shall we? Let's. So to start off with, we're going to take where are his uh, are his smokestacks, and we're just going to untap them from the sides here. They got a little slot here that goes over this tab right here, and on this armature here, we're going to bend it, and this tab will go into this slot right here. And this tab will go into that slot there. So that will all get locked in securely. Same thing on the other side, untab it, armature it up, tab it into place, and there you got that. Um, from there, we want to come down here to where his uh, legs are and just uh, twist them, which will unlock them from this tab, from this tab, that goes into this slot, and there's a little hook section here that goes right onto the a tab section right on the on the inside. So we'll untab that. Um, from there, we want to open up his leg, 
panels here and flip out his feet. And there you got his legs all done. From there, we want to take this whole section assembly here with the window panel thing and bring it around, bring it up, and this tab will go into this slot right here. And so there you got that. Uh, from there, you want to come up here to where his arms are and just kind of bring them down. They are tabbed with this tab here going into a slot into his arm. So bring them down and wiggle them a little loose and bring them down. They're on a double hinge. Take this whole section here and that's right. That's right. It goes, comes forward. Bring it forward. Bring his head up, much like what we saw with um, with uh, Optimus Primal. Rotate, slide it back down, bring it back up, and get him all straightened out. And braise the camera up a bit so we can see what we're doing. Whoop. There you are. And there you have... Nemesis Hot Rod in his robot mode. And he is a very, very nice looking Hot Rod. I will say there are parts of me that are like, oh, should I pick him up standardly? In his black and purple color scheme, I think he looks better. So let's get in closer here so we can take a look at the detailing. Here we got some nice red for his eyes, a nice purple on his head crest and just kind of coming down nice purple flame detailing with a nice big old Decepticon symbol there and yeah just all around really really nice figure articulation head is just on a swivel you can only look from side to side arms are on ball joints so they can kind of go out a little bit you can use the transformation for that far out they can do a full 360, but his wing span gets in the way. He does have a double jointed elbow, in a manner of speaking, because of the uh, whole gimmick. But otherwise, it's just a ball joint at this elbow and then a hinge here. A swivel at that said ball joint. Nothing at the wrist. Nothing at the waist. This panel can move forward to accompany leg movement so to adjust for leg movement movement and his legs can go forward that far they can go back that far outward that far uh, swivel right above the knee with under 90 degrees of bend and ankles can just go down and so there you got that as I stated he does come with uh, two guns that do merge together, but we'll get into that when we get into Rodimus Unicronus. And he can hold each of the guns individually. Very snug fit, but he can hold them nonetheless. So and he so he can shoot you and go pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang. So there you got that. And getting him to stand up here. And for comparison is next to Siege Refractor. So you can see he's a little bit bigger than some mainstream deluxes. Uh, to a de I mean, to a degree. There you got that. Um, here he is next to the Titan's Return Hot Rod. So we can see that and yeah he's i'd say he's about the same size as a hoist deluxe about and so there you got that and because of the fact it totally passed my mind earlier here he is next to none other than the generation one walmart reissue hot rod and woo shiny look at that all kinds of shiny goodness all kinds of g one precious goodness so there you got that 
So before I get into the final thoughts about this figure, um, something else to know and be aware of, I totally spaced mentioning it. A lot of his decaling and detailing are actually all stickers, like for example here on his shoulders, uh, even this chest section is stickered. Uh, the, his actual hood is kind of stickered. Actually, oh wait, no, that's Tampagraft. Never mind. Um, thighs are stickered, and sections on here are stickered. And there's a lot more stickers when it comes with the with regards to the actual Rodimus Unicronus bit of it, which we'll get into that when we get into his into the review, the rest of the review for that uh, next week. And so, eh, stand. Stand, boy. Stand. So, yeah. I, there you go. So, there you have the part one of the Rodimus Unicronus uh, video review with Nemesis Hot Rod. Nemesis Hot Rod, in of himself, is a very decent figure. With problems, though, I mean, he is, a, he is supporting of a major gimmick for a leader class figure, which, you know what? That's perfectly fine. I can get behind that. I'm perfectly okay with that. It is it is what it is. Would I suggest and recommend them? If you can still find them, sure. I'd say go for it. Pick them up. It's well worth it. He's a very cool, very nice toy. And when we get into the big, the big bot himself, I'll go into explaining more as to why I wanted this figure. So, but I think that will just about do it for this uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be, certain, please be certain to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with whomever you think might like it. And don't forget to check me out on social media. Links will, of course, be in the description down below. And I think that will just about do it. So until next time, I hope you guys are all staying safe. And of course, camera fall down. You'd better subscribe for more of Maxwell's reviews. I'll be watching you, and so will Unicron, my master. <laughs>